What's up, tech fans, tech freaks, tech noids, and those who are technically challenged, who behind closed doors we call tech tarts. But with love, today we're gonna do the unboxing, first look, and general overview of a brand new motherboard from the people at ASUS. What motherboard am I talking about? It's this little box back here. It's the E45M1-I. Now, let's go inside and see what comes in this little box. So here it is, the 45 M1 Dash I. No, all right, I'll go back to a normal voice because you guys otherwise will think yeah, I'm crazy. I am a little crazy. I'm just a little crazy. So we're looking at the Mini Max Home Entertainment Center motherboard, which means that things geared basically so that you can have yourself an HTPC that's very, very small, doesn't require a lot of power, and will pretty much fit anywhere because it's so tiny. That is the E45 M1 Dash I Deluxe motherboard. So there's a lot of features about that. We'll talk about those in a second. I'll just show you the back of the box now. And then I know you guys don't like so much about the box, but here, if you guys are interested in purchasing this, I'll show you guys the side of it right here. That way, if you want to go online and purchase this anywhere, like say Amazon or something, you can go buy it. So let's dig in. Let's pull this little bad boy out. I guess, first of all, we should probably just look at what comes in the box. So here's what comes in the box. All right, see you later. No, I'm just kidding. All right. So the first thing we're going to see in the box, we have these two things right here. These are the two antennas. They're going to connect directly to the motherboard. We'll show you that part of the board when we get to it. We have the rear I.O. It's padded, made for being silent, keeping the noise inside there. We have the SATA cables. These are the new SATA 3 type. You can tell by the way that they're made, the color coordination. Then we have the ASUS E45M1-I Deluxe User's Guide and Manual. And then finally, we have the CD and a little case badge in there as well. Case badge, CD. So that's the other content. Now let's look at the heart of the matter. Let's look at the motherboard itself. Now, this motherboard is integrated with the AMD Fusion APE450 dual core onboard processor with AMD Radeon HD 6320 graphics, supports the AMD Turbo Core technology. I guess this is based off the Hudson M1 chipset. It's the AMD FCH850M. So let's look at the board, let you guys see it. Here we have the memory slots. It supports two DIMMs with maximum 8 gigabyte of DDR1333 megahertz. 1066 megahertz non-ECC unbuffered memory. It also is single channel memory architecture so it's not dual channel it's just single channel memory. Now as far as expansion slots we can see we have a single PCIe 2.0 times 16 that's right here. We have one two three four five right here there's five SATA controllers these are all the six gigabit per second type and there's one eSATA port as well. One of the main things you're going to notice about this motherboard beyond how really small it is, you're going to notice that it has a completely passive cooling system. It also has heat pipes going in and out, which is going to help dissipate the heat away from the APU that's underneath there. Now, here on top, we have an expansion slot for a 3.0 connector. Also, here on the board, we can see there's a debug, there's a little switch for debugging the board. You have a 4-pin power connector here. 24 pin power connector here. You can see the board is very simply laid out. It's pretty much basically the passive cooling solution. That's what a major part of this board is. Right here next to the memory, we can see the Mem OK button. Pushing this button will allow the memory to automatically recalibrate itself. So if you're having a memory problem and you push that button, it will automatically set the memory to what it can work with and reboot the board. So it's a really good feature to have. So now let's take a look at the rear I.O. To the far side, we can see there's two connections, and those are for these antennas. You connect those to go. Then we have a legacy keyboard and mouse connection, two USB 2.0 connections, digital audio, HDMI, DVI. Then we have an additional two USB, then eSATA, the LAN port, which we talked about before, which is Realtek, and then we have two USB 3.0 connections. The onboard audio is also brought by the Realtek ALC 892 8-channel high-definition audio codec. So 
Everything on this board is going to be quiet. It's mini ITX, so it's very small. Features the EFI BIOS. Here we see the BT to go adapter. With this, you can wirelessly connect with a lot of different devices in your house and connect them automatically to the board. It's pretty nifty. So that's it, folks. We'll close this out. Just go over some of the quick features. Basically, mini ITX. Very small, all in one board, costs about $180 but everything is on board that you need. The only thing you'd have to do with this board is basically hook up a power supply to it, hook up a hard drive to it, and you've got a complete PC. You can be up and going, put it up for your HTPC, and for that price, it's probably a pretty good deal. So for those who are looking for something very small, but totally all-in-one, the new E45 M1-I might just be the motherboard you're looking for. This was the unboxing and first look here at Tech of Tomorrow.